I feel like I have moments where I can, like, in my own head, where I'm like, yeah. I've got a face like a rhino and a neck like the vulture. I'm Lorraine. Whoa. And I am crawling the walls with excitement. I'm Langston. <laughs> this is Earth's Mightiest Show. <laughs> where we talk about all of the biggest stuff in the Marvel Universe. Oh, and there is a heck of a big video game on the horizon. Everybody's been buzzing about Marvel Spider-Man coming to PS4. September 7th. Oh, yes, and a new trailer is here, so we're gonna show that to you right now. You're Spider-Man. Look, next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay, but what if there aren't any around? <laughs> Good one. Apparently the show's not over. Is there anyone left in New York who doesn't want me dead? A thin line between living and dying. I'm on the edge and I might just die. Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Girl problems again. Gotcha! Shut up! for team. What a great trailer. Ooh, oh, so, so good. good. Music is great. It's got me pumped and amped. Uh, we got more Miles Morales, who's such a fan favorite character. Can't wait to see how he comes into play in that game. Oh, oh you know, I was actually keeping track, and you really see so many villains in this trailer. So by my count, I saw Wilson Fisk, Mr. Negative, Rhino, Silver Sable, who's not like a villain villain, but she's not really like a hero hero either, a Scorpion, and a green streak that distinctively looked like the Vulture. So mm -hmm. that's six by my count so far which is an important number if you're sinister. Yes, right you are, Lorraine, very important. And you guys might remember from the gameplay footage shown at E3 that it showed these villains escaping from the Raft Prison, which you get to play a little bit of. You get to swing around and fight in the Raft Prison, uh, and I'm sure that's going to come into play in a big way with the barrage of baddies that Spider-Man's going to have to take. Oh, you know, the Raft actually is really important in comics. So if you guys don't know, the Raft is a big part of Marvel history. It's a maximum security shield run prison off the coast of New York City. And the raft has a ton of super villain worthy security measures that feel a little extra, but mm -hmm. they're great. Like a force field and jellyfish infested waters and power dampening energies and just like everything you would ever want to escape from. So I understand why they want to go. Yeah, and prison does not just make a good setting for a video game. It makes a great setting for television, which is yeah. why I got to sit down and talk to Dasha Polanco from Orange is the New Black. And it was fun, so check this out. What's up, everybody? I am here with the incredible Dasha Polanco from Orange is the New Black. Dasha, welcome. Thank you. Yes, you seem very excited. I am excited. <laughs> I'm excited that I'm here. I want to talk about your Marvel fandom because you are like, you were like shaking. You were like looking around and be like, oh, that person, that person, that person. So yeah. who would you say right now is your favorite Marvel character? Right now, my favorite would be Deadpool. Deadpool, yeah. Yes. Awesome. You and your son yes. are big fans it's of Deadpool. Yes, it's his yeah. favorite, and we've like watched all the movies, mm -hmm. and I know he probably shouldn't be watching it, <laughs> but you know, I'm there, I'm present. No, Deadpool's fun, though. So what is it about Deadpool that your son likes so much? He likes his comedy, and I think mm -hmm. he likes the fact that he's he never dies, as he says. <laughs> he's like... A jokester, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? He doesn't take things seriously. He's not like, I mean, Thor. I mean, I love Thor too. Okay. Oh, so Thor's your favorite? Yeah, I think he's so powerful and present. He's cool. And he's hot. Storm used to be Thor, and you also love Storm. Did you know that? Oh my God, I didn't know Storm that. was, had the hammer at one point. Did I miss this? <laughs> I'm learning something new. You did miss this, yeah. So now you can, you gotta go back and re, you can, you can combine two people that yes, you love. Yes, I, I have to come, well, you know, I loved Storm. Mm -hmm. I loved X-Men, I loved Rogue. Mm -hmm. And She-Hulk, because yeah. I feel like I could relate a lot to She-Hulk. Okay, so how, how can you relate to She-Hulk? Because I feel like I have moments where I can, like, in my own head, where I'm like, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna look out, you wanna just like... Where I like have these, these, these visions of like, <laughs> whipping this car over me, there's traffic, <laughs> I'm running. And then I'm back to my normal self and my reality strikes, oh. and I'm like, ooh, I'm See, not green anymore. See, that's why you're more like She-Hulk, because Hulk, he loses control, but She-Hulk, she... Uh, so congratulations on the new season of Orange is the New Black. Thank you. Yes. To say your character went through a lot last season is an under understatement of the year. <laughs> so uh, where do we find Die at the start of season six? Uh, this is definitely a brand new setting. We're in a mm. 
Maximum Security. Mm -hmm. So it's a new show. Mm -hmm. New prison mates. I mean, you see the vulnerability in her, but you also see how she tries to escape her situation. Uh, it's for Daya, I think that she's definitely grown into something that I did not expect. Mm -hmm. um, as a viewer and as an actor also, portraying her. She's just, she just keeps on going down that hole, <laughs> deeper and deeper. But she can weather the storm, right? Yeah, she's gonna climb out that exactly. hole. Exactly. Well, Dasha, thank you so much for talking to thank us today. You. Thank you. much for coming thank in. Thank you. And you all need to check out season six and all the seasons of Orange is the New Black, currently streaming right now on Netflix. But I don't wanna say goodbye just yet. Do you wanna stick around and play a game with us? Yes, please. See? I see. love games. Let's do it. Uh, she was delightful to talk to. It was so cool to see her rediscover uh, fandom that she had for Marvel characters that she forgot about. She all of a sudden was like, wait a minute, I love that person. I love that person, I love that person. Oh, it was, it was wonderful to watch. And now she knows that she's gotta go see that Storm Thor. Mm, that's right, she can go check that out. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, Lorraine, there are a lot of Marvel prisons. I realized, oh, yeah. thinking about The Raft, I was like, The Raft is not the only prison that uh, the Marvel Universe has to offer. No, because there are a ton of supervillains. Yes, but there are. But, but Luke Cage, who is oh. a hero, got his powers from Seagate Prison in Atlanta, so I guess some good came out of one of the prisons in the Marvel Universe, right? Well, yeah, well, yeah, they made a hero, mm -hmm. ultimately. Um, prison 42, I think, is the meanest prison because it sends all of the prisoners through a portal to the negative zone where they just feel negative feelings. Ooh, Ooh. who wants that? Uh, no. Also, but the Kiln, the intergalactic prison oh, yes. uh, in the cosmos, uh, that seems pretty fun because, you know, people, you can drop people in off space? there. Yeah, it's space. You can drop people off there. You can get <laughs> dropped off there. You can break out you and can steal be, a spaceship. It's, it's great. You can be in prison anywhere. You can, yeah, you can go in. It's space. Come on. It's fun. The Guardians of the Galaxy are there, there's Groot's there. Well, with the Guardians of the Galaxy, anything would be fun. That's also true. Uh, but Dasha Polanco did not just talk about her Marvel fandom, she also got to make her own personalized Marvel trading card. This is awesome. Okay, we are back with Dasha Polanco. Are you ready for this? Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, good. So I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. First off, you need a superhero name, so what would your superhero name be? Uh, my superhero name would be Dashes. Dashes? Yeah. Dashes. Yes. I like it. And what would uh, Dashes' superpower be? Control time. Control time, okay. You hmm. could only go back in time. Well, you can only go back, you can't go. You can't go forward. What would your superhero's pose be? What would the, the trading card pose be? It would definitely be. You can do it, you can. Very regal. Re so let's see it, so yeah. Oh, I don't want to break my dress. See, that's the power well, don't, I have. See, I'm saying. I break you, you, dresses. You, go back, you can go back in time and <laughs> fix it. I break dresses. <laughs> yeah. Break the cloth. <laughs> okay, that, there it is, there it is. Boom, awesome, very good, very good. Uh, and what would your superhero suit look like? Would it be like more armored, like Iron Man, or would it be more like? I think that it would be made of the lightest metal. Okay, cool. Oh. You're so serious. Because <laughs> I, I, I've thought about this. Uh oh, see, there we go. Okay, good. So now, life. what would your superhero catchphrase be? Dashing through time. Dash, just like that? Exactly. Good. Now, would you please show us your pose and say your catchphrase at the same time to the camera, please? Dashing through time. And boom, you're a trading card. It's just like that. The power, it's magic. <laughs> That's all it takes. And then I get a comic, and then I get a movie. Hopefully. Then I get a show. That's how it starts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Josh, so much for playing. I'm Congratulations. Time. Thank you, Dasha, so much for staying with us. And be sure to catch all the seasons of Orange is the New Black, streaming now on Netflix. Oh. What a terrific trading card. Uh, so I, good. I would like to have a Dash's card. We made it, so you can have as many as you want. We print them here. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, you know what <laughs> else we created here? What do you do? We have a Marvel Create Your Own comic from Tap Tap, which we created with writer Daniel Kibblesmith right here, and we're gonna do a special reading of it on Master Comics Theater. Hey guys, before we start off this Master Comics Theater, we have a special guest with us, Daniel Kibblesmith. Yeah. Hey, welcome. Thank you for having me, I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, thank you for writing this awesome comic for us. We're excited to read it, but first, I wanna to talk to you because you write our Lockjaw comic in addition to lots of other funny things, but what has been your favorite thing about writing Lockjaw? 
definitely uh, the the challenges and opportunities of having a non-human protagonist. <laughs> there was uh, a lot of plots that eventually had to start happening, but in the first issue, I make sure to take some opportunities to have him do like classic dog stuff, mm -hmm. especially yeah. big indestructible dog stuff, like uh, <laughs> right, just normal indestructible dog stuff. Exactly. So you know, charging through things blindly, and uh, that's that's probably been the most fun is just like letting him cut loose. Well, we appreciate it. Yes, and speaking of cut loose, we're about to cut loose into the story, which features Kate Bishop, uh, Hawkeye, in my heart, the one true Hawkeye, which is awesome, yes. Uh, so what drew you to Kate Bishop? What do you like about that character? Uh, Kate Bishop, in particular, just appealed to me as somebody who uh, bucks archetypes, that she's a young woman who, uh, like, uh, wealthy, kind of shut in, you know, lives in a mansion, parents' money, and she just says, like, no, instead of this life, I'm just going to get really good at weapons. And also the keyholes, because she has some great <laughs> she side does. keyholes a lot of the time. That's my investment. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we get into this Master Comics sure. Theater? Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. This week on Master Comics Theater, presented by Tap Tap Comics, we bring you a completely new comic. Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, the real Hawkeye, in Don't Quote Me, written by Daniel Kibblesmith, with art created using the Tap Tap Comics app. I am your trusty narrator, Langston Belton, here in the role of Kate Bishop, our own Lorraine Sink, and joining us in the role of Modoc, the Daniel Kibblesmith. We see her atop a building. Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, the real Hawkeye. Eleanor Roosevelt said, do one thing every day that scares you. I mean, she didn't really, no one on the internet ever really said the thing they said. I looked it up on quote investigator.biz cause I'm an investigator too, unlicensed, uh, working on it, not really. These days, I'm too busy West Coast avenging to maintain my rep as the world's probably greatest technically unlicensed private eye. Daily patrol can get pretty boring. Hell! Until it's super not. From below, a voice cries out in the night, a jewelry robbery. Pathetic low IQ individuals tremble before the mental might of MODOK. Mental organism designed only for killing, which means he should be called MODOK, but whatever. Well, it's a new day, Mrs. Roosevelt. Time to do something that scares the dot biz out of me. What is MODOK up to? Does Kate have what it takes to get ahead? Will she ever become a licensed detective? See what happens next week on Earth's Mightiest Show. Langston, I think you should just be a narrator. I could, I could, I could. You want me to narrate you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Just... There goes the rain walking down the street. Hopefully she writes stuff down when she walks, which is dangerous. And types on the computer she has I'm, in front of her. Makes I'm, no sense, see? I'm good. I would do anything in life if you would just narrate it. <laughs> no problem, you got okay. it. Done. done, done. Anyways, you guys, tell us what villain you're most hoping to see escape the raft and join the rogues gallery of Marvel Spider-Man coming to PS4 on September 7th and hashtag Earth's Mightiest Show. We will see you next time. I'm Lorraine. And I'm Langston. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Thanks for watching Earth's Mightiest Show. If you like this, hey, like this and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Or click that box over there to watch our last episode. Oh, Langston. Yes? Um, If you were going to just narrate, I don't know, anything, what would it be? Well, looks like Ant-Man's got himself over the hill. <laughs> <laughs>